Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. Now let's talk a little bit more about shrinkage in general. In this example that we just did, we used a 30 degree angle and we had shrinkage of one quarter of an inch for every inch of depth on the obstacle. Now if we use a 22 degree angle, the shrinkage is 3 sixteenths of an inch for every inch of depth on the obstacle. If we were using a 45 degree angle, the shrinkage would have been 3 eighths of an inch for every inch of depth on the obstacle. And when you're bending with a hand bender, these are really the three angles in which you're going to use when you calculate shrinkage most often. So that's something to keep in mind. But once again, on a quick review, for a 22 degree angle, it's 3 sixteenths of an inch shrinkage for every inch of depth. On a 30 degree angle, it's a quarter of an inch shrinkage for every inch of depth. And on a 45 degree angle, it's 3 eighths of an inch shrinkage for every inch of depth. Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. If you find this video helpful, please consider donating using the PayPal link below. Thank you.